There we go. Look at that Liliana image. Can you see something wrong with it? Because I do. Is it is it the 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 like Dutch angle? No. Is it when you are designing something mm -hmm. and you decide to use more than one font, you should try to pick <laughs> fonts that either complement each other or contrast each other. Mm, and see. here we have Bellerin, mm, uh -huh. their own custom serif font. It's all uh, it's in all it's in small caps. Like you have cap, everything's capped, even though it's uh. And then we have just twenty-four point uh, Arial, not even Helvetica or something, just Arial. <laughs> like, yeah, we we made this in in Paint. Default, like oh, we just defaulted. Doesn't yeah, matter. like whatever. And it's just like it's sticking out this round, mm. bold Arial font. All right, I'm going to quick pull up the event so that I can explain the event before we jump in it. Mm. So, the event we are playing is the Battle of the Plains Phantom Swiss Sealed League. Uh, the way this works is that when I join this league, uh, I am going to be given a choice of five different planes uh, within the game of Magic. Not not, not planes, but planes. Um, P-L-A-N-E-S... Yeah, like like walkers, planes walkers, mm -hmm. but not We're planes not... walkers. Also, your deck has to have a planes in it, right? And uh, well, one of five planes in it. Yeah, one of these five planes. All right. Well, the five planes are uh, the the lightning tree planes from Odyssey. Uh, that's uh -huh. my favorite planes. Um, we have unhinged planes. That one's a big contender. Uh -huh. uh, we we have full art. Zendikar proper planes, which is uh, you know that's, a, that's uh, it's it, it's a budget consideration, but it's a very good planes. Uh, we have white bordered ninth edition planes. That's it's the underdog planes, uh, and then we have uh, an odd entry in hollowed fountain, which is only mm. technically a planes. Only technically a planes. I remember the planes from Tempest being okay too. Yeah. Very dreary planes. Um, anyways. Um, no, but, but for real. Uh, <laughs> we, we get to choose between uh, Dominaria, the, the like base plane. It's not even the base plane of Magic anymore. Uh, it, it was for it was, 20 years and then they stopped. <laughs> uh, Dominaria, which is like Onslaught, like that, that Onslaught, Time Spiral, Invasion, Tempest. Mm -hmm. A thousand sets took place in it. Um, Innistrad, which is like Innistrad and Shadows over Innistrad. Mirrodin. Yeah. Mirrodin and Scars of Mirrodin. Uh, Ravnica. Ravnica and Return to Ravnica. And Zendikar. Uh, Zendikar, Rise of the Eldrazi. And uh, Battle for so, Zendikar. Some other bad set. <laughs> so. Um, and it is a it is a sealed uh, event, right? So you get six packs? Yes. You, you get six packs, and so... I'm I'm gonna quick walk through the the, the the choices here because like some of these aren't obvious. Um, with with uh, like with Dominaria, as I just listed, Dominaria is a gigantic plane. That so had, they went with so they went with onslaught scourge for some reason. Yeah, they went with onslaught legion scourge time spiral planar chaos future sight for Dominaria, um, which means that you're going to have a very creature heavy deck and you're going to have six thousand keywords. Yeah, the Dominaria player is the wild card. You can never exactly be sure what the hell they're going to be doing, but they're probably going to have some, like, creatures. Yeah, uh, they could have some very powerful cards. Time Spiral alone gives them access to the time-shifted cards. Planar uh -huh. Chaos gives them access to, perhaps, Damnation-level cards. Um, and then, like, Onslaught. The trick with Onslaught is that if we're comparing modern sensibilities to Onslaught, Onslaught has something like 20 auto first pick commons. Mm. Like Sparksmith, you know, like... Uh, <laughs> Sparksmith, yeah. Something like that. Um, the, the next one is Innistrad. Uh, Innistrad gets two packs of Innistrad, one of Dark Ascension, two packs of Shadows over Innistrad, one of Eldritch Moon. Notably missing is Avacyn Restored for some reason. Yeah. 
this this to me means that Innistrad is going to be the most uh, complete we agree. player. Like they're going to yeah. be the most yeah. like. We, we agreed that an Estrad player would be the most consistent because the two sets have a lot of uh, conceptual overlap. Like, you want to be self-milling yourself a lot in both of these sets. They have, like, smaller, aggressively costed creatures most of the time. Yeah. They're going to have... They, they, they are probably the ones that are going to have the best possibility of synergy as well as having just powerful cards. Mm. Uh, next up, we have Mirrodin. Uh, Mirrodin is our... Uh, is uh, I think the the power choice. This is yeah. high risk, high reward. You're getting one pack of Mirrodin, one Dark Steel, one Vithon, one Scars, one Mirrodin Besiege, one New Phyrexia. It you can open a lot of garbage in your first three packs, but you can also open a lot of stuff that they would yeah. not print anymore. I talked about onslaught sense, common sensibilities. Mirrodin has the same sort of thing where I don't know. Uh, Bone Splitter exists at common and locks it on Warhammer at uncommon. Mm -hmm. So you can get very, very powerful creatures. I think when I looked at the creatures from the set, if you're playing White Weenies, your creature curve hasn't actually changed that much. But <laughs> yeah, otherwise, they, there's a lot of like four mana two threes and stuff. The reason I say high risk is that the last, the back two packs have a very high chance of just giving you these dead creatures with Infect because you're not really going to be able to build an Infect deck out of, you know, the, like only the bad three pack. packs of Like three packs of, or whatever, two or three packs of Infect, and then right. like nothing to go with it. Next up we have Ravnica as Ravnica Guild Pack Dissension, Return to Ravnica, Gate Crash, Dragon's Maze. Ravnica has the upside of being able to have some very powerful, like, two to three color decks that have hyper-fixing... I think up to four color with hyper fixing. Probably, like you could. You have Karu, like you have Karu's in the first set, and then you have just the tap lands in the in the second Car block. Karu's Car and signets in the first set. Yeah, Karu's signets, clue stones. If you're desperate, there's just so much fixing. Yeah. The the problem with Ravnica is that the the old mechanics of Ravnica and the new mechanics of Ravnica very rarely line up well. Yeah, we've played Ravnica Wacky Draft before, and it wasn't the greatest, but... Uh, well, like, cause, wacky Sealed, I mean. You yeah. know, like, um, Battalion and Radiance have nothing in common. Uh, Evolve and Graft have little in common. You know, uh, Blood Rush and Blood uh, Bloodthirst. You know, like, the, the even the mechanics in the two guilds very, very rarely line up to be good. Um, so, you're, you're, you're kind of hoping for power rather than you're not because yeah. you're not going to find synergy so you, you just play the most powerful cards in your packs and then you fix them and then we have zendikar which is zendikar, zendikar is the toilet <laughs> zendikar has a uh, zendikar world wake two rise of the eldrazi packs battle for zendikar oath of the gate watch so uh, we have the second most aggressive uh, format in magic history uh -huh. in zendikar World Wake, which I don't actually know much about. It it tempered it, but not enough, and it actually had some pretty good aggressive options anyway, so... You have the slowest set of magic ever. Uh-huh. And then you have the worst block in recent history. And then you have a very terrible block. Then So you have almost... Yeah. So you basically have nothing going on for you. you. You know, Battle for Zendikar, none of your mechanics are going to play well with any of the cards from before, with the exception of maybe some allies, but you're only getting four packs of allies. Like, yeah, you've got Hyper Aggro of sets one and two, Battle Cruiser of sets three, and then, like, the most parasitic sets of... Yeah, that, that's the best one. The ones that are terrible are uh, Battle for Zendikar and the Gatewatch from Zakarin, yeah, because... I, uh, I am not a fan of Battle for Zendikar of the Gatewatch. I do not think this set plays well, and also does not play with, well with others. Is, is you have the possibility of opening the kind of bomb rares in like your two packs of Rise of the Eldrazi that right. most decks are just not equipped to deal with. Even something like a Skeletal Worm yeah. is hard for a lot of people to deal or, with. Just a 7-6 that regenerates. Or even just playing a Ulal Mog's Crusher, if you can get to that. Yeah, like you play, like you're maybe you're playing against Ravnica and they're also slow because all their mana's tapped. And like, okay, I'm gonna just play Ulamog's Crusher. Anyway, now that we've talked about all five, uh, we talked a lot about what we were going to do with this. If we were going to play, um, what sets we wanted to play out of this, uh, the two we came down to and narrowed it down to were Inishrod as the like 
most effective option and Mirrodin as the most exciting option. Again, higher risk, but very high reward on it. So obviously, we know which one we're going to play. Yeah. Uh, I also wish I could take the time for uh, some of the some of the others, but we're just gonna we're like I kind of would love to be the wild card, like you know the t- of the of the time spiral. But I'm going to go in on Mirrodin, uh, even though we again you're, you're the I'm not convinced that Infect is even possible to be like good here, but I am convinc- convinced that uh, there's a lot of power to be had. So, even even over Innistrad is my my number two, but I'm going with this one. So let's just jump on in. Yeah, we'll see what we get. All right, roll some dice. Let us see what we get. And I think the client has frozen. Oh, it doesn't quite know how they had to program a special widget to give you a choice. Okay. Oh, they're not even sorted by. Uh, they're not even sorted by packs. Uh, um. Okay. This is. Sort by rarity, please. I want to see what we have to start with. Uh. <laughs> so, okay, let's sh- let's okay, let's oh, uh, s- start with that and start seeing how we can build up any black deck, preferably one that is an infect based black deck. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna move all these over here just to, to show off our six rares first, and then we're gonna. Um... So we have Skitherix S- S- the Blight Dragon, which is a ridiculous card. This is a five mana. Eight four flying. <laughs> yeah, Skitherix is a card that I I've played a, a good amount with in limited, and uh, you don't lose when you cast Skitherix. Your opponent generally dies. Uh, this is four four flying. In fact, you can haste it. So if you, you cast it on six, you can haste, and it has regenerate. In addition to being a black creature, meaning it's immune to a good amount of removal, it's. You also only have to give it one point of power for it to be a two-turn clock. Or not two-turn clock, but a... Am I... Yeah. Am I quiet now? I checked the audio. Mm. Anyone, any, somebody, uh, like, somebody, back us so, up somebody, somebody back up... Somebody, somebody back up anybody on on that at all. Uh, sure. Sounds okay, dude. Okay. Okay. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a permanent whenever greater harvester deals combat damage to play. Yeah, we've read this card before. <laughs> oh boy, reversal of fortune. Okay. Reversal of fortune's awful in like four ways. Uh, <laughs> but she's got that jellyfish. S- starting with the art and ending with the card. Uh, this card's bad. Six mana for this, by the way. Six. Six mana. Uh, what, what is you, it? you know what the coolest thing about this card is? What? You don't even steal the copy. Nope, they, they get to keep it. Yeah. Uh, Proteus Staff casts, uh, as you, you you mentioned, this is just casting... Uh, uh, polymorph? No. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably basically Polymorph. Um... Ingester is removal, and it's pretty decent at that. It's just it's just rather good. Just a big guy. Mirror turbine is pretty decent. Yep. But yeah, greater harvester I think is also just like fine to play. I don't know. It's got it's got annihilate too. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. All right, I'm gonna do this. we first things first. What do we got? Oh. <laughs> That's it, by the way. Um, so we have Skithrix and Blight Mamba and Priest of Norn. And that's it. But Triumph of the Hordes is uh this is an overrun. If this is our only other infect card, like probably the Blight Mamba as well, because Blight Mamba is fine. Even if you weren't running infect, you'd play, probably be fine with this card. Uh-huh. Uh, this is uh, definitely another way of just winning the game. Even if you're not an infect deck, you can just overrun and like kill them. So yeah, it's overrun with infect and just hope that one combat kills them. Luckily, Skithrix is one of the very few infect cards that will stand on its own. All right, let's go ahead and sort by color and see what we got here. Then, wow, is that seriously all our red cards? That's probably for the best. Goodbye. Because I don't think Nathosaur is worth that splashing for. Yeah. All right. So in white, we have Stir the Pride, which is also a very powerful 
uh, kind of overrun style card. Mm-hmm. Lifelink, usually you're, you're doing the plus two, plus two, and sometimes both. Uh, Anchorite is okay. Um, Skyhunter, Skirm- Skirm- sure. Mm. Skirmish is pretty cool. Priest of Norn, Metal Fatigue. Arrest, good, good to see. Mm-hmm. Arrest. Armed Response, not so good. Yeah, probably not. Is Stir still bugged? Is it Was Stir bugged in the first place? Ooh. Hey, a creature we're playing in whatever deck we're playing. All right. Well, that was an easy include. Mirror Smith. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, lean in and guard if we have equipment that's worthwhile. Forced Worship. Ooh, we have two decent removal spells in white. Cathedral Membrane, which art won't come up, and Ritual Restoration. All right. In blue, we got Condescend, Quicksilver Behem. So let me quick hide a couple of the worst cards in there. Uh, Dream's Grip. Don't think that's... Vapor Snag, Echoing Truth, Thought Courier. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that infuser is any good. Vivisection's okay. Vivisection's quite good. Ooh. Hi. Thoughtcast. Okay. We have some powerful draw spells. Sky Eel School. Mm, Sky, Sky Eel School, a classic. Can we pull up the preview window? I have absolutely no idea how... Th- is this it? Is this visible? It's visible. Oh, yeah. my goodness. All right. Thank thank you for reminding me this exists. I haven't used it in years. Is this seriously not... Okay, it's adjustable. Yeah. Here's a card. Cool. So... Echoing True. We have some decent blue. Yeah, decent blue. I actually like a lot of our blue. Um, this is not really a great one. Uh, all right, black, despise. Okay, blind creeper, which is uh, no. Mm, maybe depends. We have, oh man, look at look at our top artifact. I see. <laughs> Cheering rats is cool. Fill with fright and yeah, still infection. Yeah, scavenger. Okay. Decent Grave Dicky. So it's like a 4 2 that dies and makes a 2 2. Cost to count. Uh huh. And Exsanguinate, which is just the drain. A really good fireball, yeah. Yep. Mutagenic Growth, a card that's making it any deck we play. <laughs> yeah, Mutagenic Growth. Uh, yep. Uh, Mirren Metal. Oh my goodness. Unnatural Predation. Oh boy, we got some pump. We got some. Oh man, it, maybe one infect creature is all we need. Yeah. Terrible mana fixer. Okay, the Blomba. Yeah, Tangle Asp, which is fake death touch. Mm-hmm. He's he's fine. Freedom Betrayers is fine. Triumph of the Hordes. Molder. Oh god, I thought that was Molder Slug for a moment. Ah, if only it was Molder Slug. But no, Molder Beast, uh, which is just fine. Um, this is better dogs. Thundering Tanadon is also probably in whatever deck we're playing. Thundering Tanadon is pretty okay. All right. Um, Bone Splitter. Uh huh. Gremlin Mine. That's removal, right? To artifact creature. Um, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lantern and Insight, a uh, deck in modern. Lean and Scimitar, also probably in the deck. Hmm. Okay, do I need to seriously just murder your volume? I'm murdering your volume, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and murder my volume. Maybe it's because we're using Skype and not Discord yeah. for audio. Well, I hate, I hate it. Uh, Mirror Moon, Mind Servants, Pirate Spell Bomb, no, Signal Pest. Mmm, Signal mm. Pest. Cons- uh, consideration. Fire Breather. Silver Mirror is quite good. 
Silver Mirror might be in whatever deck we're playing anyways. Uh, Ooh, Crystal Shard. Yeah, Thermal Navigator is fine. Arcbound Crusher. Ooh! Ooh. It's, just, it's just his favorite creature. This is a form on a 2 2. It says. That says nothing. Let's keep looking, Jen, and see what we have. There we go. Razor Golem, Hexblade Golem, Tangle Golem. I okay. you have multiple five mana ways to make one mana mirrors. Hmm. So the problem and with, our fixing is zero fixing, yeah, and we have say, one artifact land. Our problem with our problem with doing any sort of like multicolor thing is that we have absolutely no fixing. Let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna fill out the black first. I don't know if that's like correct, but I want it. Like I, yeah, like is our black good enough to play? We have one extremely powerful card, one pretty powerful card, and then some trash and some okay commons. Like, let me put this back over here. Uh, scavenger's probably fine. Like, is is blind creeper big enough to? I don't think we're like aggressive enough to care about yep. it. Blind creature, blind creeper often dies post combat when you cast a creature and it dies to the damage on it. A sanguinate's maybe worth playing, like either it or a sanguinator. Like either a sanguinate or Skitherix make each other dead cards, but who cares? Yeah, like one of them wins anyway. Hey, you, you got that backwards, CRS reverb. Jins is the five color Jins guy. I, I usually. Don't like I'm usually the voice of reason. This Man, I'm sucks. being I'm being typecast. Yeah, our po this is a pile. I think what we should actually probably do is like make some kind of blue white deck, but I know. This sucks. This looks really poor. Um Like our black is awful. I don't like most of these cards. I don't even like half the ones in the deck right now. Uh like Morok Scavenger in a deck that has like two things it can pick up. Uh, instill infections actually quite bad. Filled with fright is not good. This is this is what we call a not good card. This is a four mana mind rot. Like, mm -hmm. I I think we have to give up the dream. Uh, Rune betrayers, tangle ass triumph. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This also looks pretty shallow, though. Yeah. All right. Well, how about this? Scavenger, skirmisher, stir the pride, priest and honor, arrest, suture priest, mirror, then guard, forced worship, vapor snake, echoing truth, thought courier, thought cast, skyle school, condescend. Signal Pest, Silver Mirror, Crystal Shard. Razor Golem. If we're a kind of slower deck, Mirror Turbine might be something we want. Just make a 1-1 one -one every turn. Yeah. This is a fuller deck than our other deck was, and I don't actually like the look of it that much, but it's got removal and fluff some flying creatures. I mean, is it worth just including the Scytherix based off of uh, that alone? Like, is is that alone worth playing black for? Is basically mm. the question. We'd have to nude fix ourselves. Right. Like... 
because the, the power we have here is kind of like Sky Hunter Skirmisher <laughs> plus like Bone Splitter or Scimitar. Um, things Porcelain Legion here, uh, having a lot of like we have a lot of power there. I actually like our white a lot. Yeah, our white's quite good. It's not the deepest stuff. Like there's only, you know, the, but that's fine. That's not a problem. And nothing is really that deep here. Well, that's the side effect of picking the set. You can see our artifact pile right here. Uh huh. Um. Hmm. I have to make a couple cuts on just this. What would I throw out? Um, do we make that good use of Signal Pest? We probably might be able to make use of Signal Pest. I will link the format for you. Yeah. Here's what we're doing, everyone. We picked Mirrodin. We're also paying a lot of life for that thundering Tanodon. That's fine. Sky, Sky Eel School has flying, so mm -hmm. I like it. Mm hmm. Okay, we're looking at what we would do if we splashed black. <laughs> That's it? Like, those are the only black cards. I guess like Sanguinate. These are the only cards I actually want in the deck in black. And they're all double black outside of Despise, and Despise is the weakest of the four. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, our doubles are just... On the other colors are Sky Hunter Skirmisher and Sky Eel School. No, we didn't hide white, we put it in our deck. You know, I'll say it's in, the, <laughs> <laughs> it's in the deck. Yeah. Are we bored into Skitherix when we're desperate? We hit red because red had contained four cards. And most of them are bad. Um, hmm. Yep. Okay, I'm thinking like this is a good direction. I'm just trying to figure out what the last cuts are. Probably like... Hmm... All right, what's Citra Priest is like the opposite of uh, Essence Warden type well, card. It's both like actually. Both. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, that's why I remembered. What if I do this like that? If our whites just good enough to play. Just splash for Phyrexian and Ingester and Condescend. Yeah, I don't even know if Condescend is like the splash, but something like this. Hmm. You still got one cut to make. Yeah, I know. I don't think this is a better deck, is the problem. Yeah, it's just. He just has more singularly powerful cards, but they're less reliable. Right. Like, it wins in two hits in this deck, either with Stir the Pride or Mutagenic Growth or Bone Splitter or Cinematar. All of those are, are two hits for Scytherix to be lethal. But we have no way of, like, ensuring we There's have There's also Scyth no way I'm hasting this. Now, you're, you, you, they have a turn to kill it. Let's go back to this plan. Now, if I'm making cuts from here, wait, I'm thinking signal pest and then a non-creature. Yeah. Hmm. It's our weakest non-creature. It might be crystal shard, even though that card is singularly annoying. Let's do that. I 
And we have a seven drop on the deck, so we can't go down on a land. <laughs> is this even a metagenic growth death deck? Yes, one hundred percent. There's no it, this. This is this is literally a one hundred percent included every limited deck I would ever play because nobody is going to read that you have this. Yeah, this is <laughs> nobody's going to see this coming. Yeah, like absolutely nobody. That that's like even if it's like oh like maybe we're not that aggressive of a deck like it's still like literally the trick of tricks like nobody like plays. it lets it lets us attack in with a Nurok replica into like nothing. Well, it lets us block like our opponent make attacks when we have no mana and you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of our bounce spells like Vapor Snag or maybe Echoing Truth because it's never getting a duplicate. Maybe. What is our actual chance of casting Thought Cast for, like, less than Divination? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then Mirror Smith tokens. So, it'd take a little bit for this to be... Like, is that better than, like, Vivisection? Mm, hard to say. I only like Vivisection with Mirror Smith tokens as well, like... Yeah, for yeah, because it's a sorcery, it makes it much much well, weaker. Well, I I meant like vivisection. Oh yeah, 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 the, yeah, the yeah, cost. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were comparing this. I'm like, oh, what? If this if this were an instant, holy fuck. Yeah, well, if Thoughtcast were an instant, it would be banned in modern. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm, geez. Maybe it's. Leon, Leon and Scimitar also, like, we have a double strike flyer and, like, crappy creatures that really benefit from it. All right, once I add a basics, it's going to want me to add in four, four forests, eh? Yeah. Nine, eight. Yeah. We prefer planes because Razor Golem. Also, like, early drops are all. Yeah. Like, we technically have a double blue, but it's on five. Yeah, let's try this. And if we become desperate, we splash black for sk Skitherix. No, this is a 17 easy to Look me. at that Phyrexian Ingester. Because, like, <laughs> this, like... This is sorted incorrectly. Like, this, these two are fours. Like, our curve's very, like, low down here, and then Condescend's also down here. Like, We also want mana just floating around to do dipshit stuff with like we have mersmith and equipment to yeah. tussle around so like we we want to be doing that all right let's go we, we spent like enough time looking at what we've got here i feel okay on what we have i feel like we're going to like a lot of our wins are going to come off of like i don't know, porcelain legionnaire is hard to beat <laughs> porcelain legionnaire any any game where we can like get an equipment onto lean and uh Double strike flyer. It's going to be hard to like if our opponent is on crappy removal. It's going to be hard for the win. So we have six points in the air off of, off, of, off Sky Hunter Skirmisher. All right, here we go. Yes, I'd like to play first, and no, I would not like to keep a, land, a hand with a a hand with nothing. We have a play on four. Sweet. This one's fine. Yeah. This one's actually quite good. I could... Oh, yeah. Sure. Maybe Silver Mirror does some attacking. Yeah. Yeah, what are we fighting against? Innistrad. All right, Innistrad. So I get to play a Razor Golem next turn. Yeah, Razor Golem. Blue Black. And then we can just have a large creature. So there's zombies? That is the tribe in there. I don't think we block. They have... Okay, so I won't... We have a... Just a 3-4 that we're going to put a sword on. Yeah, it's got Vigilance as well. Yeah, we might... Depending on what they do, we might put the sword on Silvermer, though. It depends. Maybe how aggressive we want to get with Silvermer. <laughs> oh, a tapper. That's an annoyance. That is annoying.
Alright, well, we get to get in pretty heftily. Next turn, I think we attack, like, after we go to attacks, and this gets tapped out. Third color, eh? Um, interesting. We, we, we move the scimitar so that it, like, blocks this indulgent aristocrat. Okay. I think having at least a trick ready. Well, maybe they do something? I don't know. There were plenty of, there were some, uh, auras and stuff and shadows. I think they're going to. Okay. Sure. And now we play the waiting game called Looking for Something to Do. Yeah, I probably want to get aggressive, actually, next turn. Like, our opponent's doing nothing on, like, you know, on four there. Mm-hmm. That doesn't look like a splash to me. Like, a double mountain uh, reads, like, and this doesn't look like a splash because you don't splash a one drop, usually. Yeah, you don't splash, especially not like that one drop right like especially because black is the vampire color along with red so you kind of hmm. want to be playing indulgent aristocrat with other vampires it's it basically works on its own but is this seriously all they've got like i mean i guess it's all we've got too so it's all we got too. all right whatever tap my razor golem and i'll attack for three i don't actually care about that aristocrat anymore mm-hmm So our uh, thought cast is one right now. I thought, what chumps? Chumps? Are you sacking this creature to? Should we snag that? Yeah. Let's go trick for trick. This keeps him from gaining any life. Keeps him from eating our guy. That's weird. Makes sense. So he thinks that this is worth including main as well. Like, there's enough vampires in the deck that that's worth including. Mm-hmm. Well, this is sealed, so people have thin pools. Right. If we draw our in Phyrexian Ingester, we can just play it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm holding the land so that I look like I have anything, but it's, yeah. be it's because, like, if I draw the Ingester, we can play it on seven, so... Mm -hmm. Still five cards in hand. Jeez, that scares me. Okay, a okay. four four. Okay. We currently cannot beat a four four. Yeah, I can block it if I may give the scimitar over. But you're right, I we cannot beat that. Uh, let's. We just have some, a 2-5 is our answer. And if they try to use a trick, we just sacrifice Neurog Replica. See, it's funny because I actually think that's incorrect, but... The... And they didn't, because they didn't need to... Yeah. They might start like a... <sighs> you know, Blood Hall Priest. We're trying to use that tapper aggressively now that they have the creature. Right. Well, the thing is, they can uh, use that vampire to sack creatures to put 1-1 one -one counters on vampires to control. Mm -hmm. Which includes Blood Hall Priest. Yeah. Oh, they're just going to murder our guy. Okay. Sure, I don't care enough to, like, sack that to bounce it. Now they can start, like... They could start tapping aggressively, but we... They'll wait a turn. There's no reason to like, be that aggressive on it. We... Yeah, so... I think they might just attack because they have a trick, too, you know? Okay, they don't, they're they out of tricks. They don't have, like, another Vampiric Fury. That's nice. Yeah, 
and this, and we have some removal. And if we draw a rest, we can just pick up forced worship. <laughs> yep. Although if we draw a rest, we might. Well, any creature we do this to doesn't. Yeah. Of note, that's only can't attack, so don't. You yeah, know. Don't attack into it. Yeah, they have the sack vampire, but if they're sacrificing blood hall priest, like A plus, you know, mm -hmm. I've rem I've I've gone one for one. I don't care. Or if they sack indulgent aristocrat, it doesn't do anything. Um, we can't bounce forced worship if they sack their guy because we never have a window to, right? That is correct. Mm. Yeah, it's a two mana card duty that has three bounce, so you can move it if you need to. It's a good card. God, they have so much nothing. Hmm. Well. It's a good card if I could get into combat with a team. Yeah, yeah it would be, because we can just, again, we could just cast it. Although they're going to tap Nurok Replicant, and then we put the sword on Silvermere. Yeah. And we can still cast it because uh, Silvermere taps for mana. And end step sack. Sure. Okay. I'm happy they did that now when they only control one vampire, you know, so. Yeah. And there was no re there was no real reason to do it then, unless, cause, well, they know their hand. Right. I don't know what they actually have. Yeah, we may want to, now might be the time to start holding lands in case we draw the nope. Silvok uh, looter. I I, I have been holding lands specifically. Oh, good. See, why did why didn't they do it? Why didn't they hold their guy for this? They have the mon. They must have drew it. That was a top deck. Yeah, that had to be a top deck. No, I've been holding lands specifically for that purpose. I played this land so that we could cast Stir the Pride. That's very fair. Like I've I have been I have been doing that. Oh. Um. What's the actual problem creature here? Is it the Markov Blademaster or is it the Niblis of the Brass? Right. Nibbles of the Breath actually is the one I feel like I want removed here. Uh, it's just cutting us off of real plays pretty heavily. Like, Markov Blademaster, we can answer by, mm -hmm. like, if it gets a little too big, we can always bounce it and reset things. Yeah. But with so the we Nibbles, have... we can just never get it blocked. Yeah. We can also rebounce Phyrexian and Jester. That's very true. Maybe we maybe that's just what Nurok replica does. Is it kills a cre it kills itself to kill a creature. It might be that. Right, let's force you'll, they'll sack those. Yeah. But yeah, I, I have to target the Niblis here specifically so that like because the the tapping is just too much for us to currently deal with. Four cards in hand still. Ugh. Sure. And then they eat it. This kind of sucks. Yeah, they are probably going to attack with the Markov Blade Master. God, what do I even do there? Like, blocking it with the Narok Replica leads to this dying means that I don't have a way to bounce it anymore, but if I don't block it, then... I think we just take a bunch of damage this turn, and then do that, <laughs> and then we we block with Narok Replica next turn, block and sack, bouncing uh, Phyrexian and Jester. Yeah, like, because I get to block with both of those two, and then... Mm -hmm. Or we can stir. do that and hold up Stir the Pride, and actually beat the damn thing in combat, maybe. Yeah. Do you have another vampire? Uh, don't have that. Uh, they even have a sack for that. We we lose the game. They can sack it to indulgent aristocrat. They can sack it to itself. Uh, yep. We we 
we cannot win this game yeah. unless this is a flat loss, right? Like three six. Depends. They probably sack it to eat it, not sack it to its ability, because yeah. there's no creature they want to bounce right now. They could bounce from, to keep us from chumping. And now, now that we're not chumping, they bounce it to actually get more damage in. No, yeah, if they sack it right now before it hits, it actually does more damage total, but they're not going to do that? Oh, okay. yeah. I'm not chumping because the chump is bad. The chump loses us the game because we need to be able to stir the pride in order to even like fight these creatures. Like if I uh -huh. if I chump this, I, I flat will lose. So I'm not doing that. <laughs> then yeah, uh, they would have gotten more lifelink and more stuff if they had done that. Like different. Oh, jeez. All right. Um. Uh. I guess we still can't beat that thing in combat now. Yeah, hmm. this is yeah. We we even if I double block it, we lose to it. Well, you put that over there four, and then six is enough to beat that. Like it'll six is enough to kill it. But then unless we lose unless they it. sacrifice the indulgent aristocrat to itself, which they will. Uh I think we lose from this position pretty heavily. Also, four cards in hand, and they've been missing land drops. Like that hand can't be dead, right? Like, yeah, their hand is their hand has to be weird. Oh, oh, recursion. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So they can actually uh Oh my god. They can steal they can steal silver mirror here. And I can't even stop it with Stir the Pride because they can madness this for for three. Mm. Damn, that is It also cuts me off from being able to cast Stir the Pride. I'm leaving. Yeah, let's just uh do better or yeah, that was bad. Um, heck, I like our bounce because our bounce is like against the counters that they place is really powerful. Mm -hmm. um, Do we want sod cast? That would have been like the actual best draw in the universe in that game. Yeah, I don't know what's what, what what's bad here. I guess is the other question. Yeah. Also, do we possibly have any other removal possible? I don't think no, so. No, we're playing everything we have. Like, yeah, I think we do want that. Like, that that was actually the best possible draw in the universe, and it wasn't even in our deck. Um, you know, like, we have the turbine. Just as, like... Guys, yeah, yeah. We have arrest. Arrest is in here. We're we are we are mainlining arrest. Priest Sonorn and. Could just put put the other card on top. Let's play forty one. If you trim a land, we would not. Uh, no way. Trimming a land is a very easy way to get a two yeah, lander that let's, doesn't. Let's, let's take a land out to put a five drop in. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> I I disagree very heavily. Uh, Silver mirror ain't no mana source. That's like th this is not a land. Yeah, we had, we we did admirable for how sort of crap we drew a lot of lands in a row. <laughs> What'd you take out? Lean and scimitar? scimitar. That's fair. But no, I I do not think that like cutting down on lands on this seems like a, a way to just get us to like have 
all this top end and two two lands in an opener. And I'm like, yeah, I guess we we might be able to operate off that. I don't know. I don't like it at all. I mean, it's not cat. We can draw two cards. Yeah. Mm. Turbine doesn't really have anything it can search for us. Yeah, let's play it's just make a 1-1 one, one every turn. Ugh. Mm. <sighs> I think we have to bottom that. Yeah, there's no way. We crystal shard on 4 just to get the 1-1. One, one. We might. Oh, we draw Jack all to do. That'll be what we do. <laughs> I really want to draw anything else to do. That's true. We can... Hmm. Okay. Early Suture Priest. And then we can Merce Myth on three and then Crystal Shard on four. Yeah. And the Crystal Shard on four, I can even, like, choose if I want the Mirror or the Bounce because the Bounce is also very good with Suture Priest. Right? Yeah. And our opponent's, uh, playing the... <laughs> yeah. Jeez. We talked, again, Innistrad. This is... Tribal. Well, not even that. They're just like extremely powerful, impactful cards. With with again, like this is just like uh, I don't know, two one haste flyer. I guess we can attack because Olivian's Bloodsworn can't block. <laughs> it's true. We see their mana to implode. We're playing a more consistent colored deck for that specific reason. All right, well, they got their two main colors. The blue seems like a splash, but a heavy one. Like, Welcome to the Fold is double blue, you know? Mm -hmm. Rockish Air. I'm just going to bounce that. I'm not I'm not even going to uh, use the Mirror Smith for the one. I'm just going to bounce that. Yeah, it seems fine. And then we get to attack. That's the real problem, though. Yeah, we're not going to be able to... Oh man, do I actually want to bounce this then? Like, I can haste it next turn. Yeah. I think we do bounce something though. Yeah, I don't care about the one. I'm gonna bounce Rakish Air and get in. The problem with Rakish Air is that this just keeps getting bigger. Mm hmm. I want Mirror Smith, but I don't actually want Mirror Smith here. Uh, I get out of here. And hopefully they're like mana light. That that would be yeah, the, the, the that would best. be the best. Yeah, like if they just have to play that and then attack again. Right. Because playing it does actually does nothing. <laughs> okay, they have a mana. Yeah. So now now they can play it, but they can't haste it if they want to keep it. Right. Well. Rakishare can't haste. It's just they're actually yeah they can they can haste it yeah they can haste it but this but then they will yeah we'll just bounce it so yeah huh, yeah that's at least good hopefully we draw like uh, razor golem I'll take actual just anything spell arrest <laughs> even the Man, if you can get, like, a uh, forced uh, worship on Livia's Bloodsworn. Yeah. No haste. How about nothing? Uh, kind of looking like what we get today. Um... Probably if if that Rakishare attacks, I'll trade Mirror Smith for it. Yeah, that one's easy. And if they try to do something, we can just okay. Crystal sh we can crystal shard our own guy if we want to. I think we have to because we have nothing else to do. Nothing else to do. Oh, do you have a 
Are they just gonna two for one themselves? Yeah. Yep. Did you know our opponent's deck is good? <laughs> Why are they playing the blue then? I wonder. Yeah, you know, like they, they, they don't, don't need, need to. They don't need it in any way. Like their deck is incredible without it. Plants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, called shots. Yeah, like why did why are they? Wh like, just for the tapper. Yeah, like why are they even splashing blue when like every single card we've seen is some sort of like this is like first pick, first pick, first pick, not first pick but pretty close, like. It's, it's kind of crazy that, that that's what we're fighting, that, that they're splashing when they have a deck that's like that. So if they play a creature, we're dead next turn. Uh, we're, 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 they're not going to play a creature. They're not going to, like, risk yeah. us being able to bounce this. Also, they can just haste a creature next turn if they actually want to. That's true. <sighs> or they'll play... They could have hasted that this turn. N like for, for... No, they couldn't. Double red. Okay. Yeah, double red. Yeah, Ricochet is, is is dependent on the deck. Like this, this is the, this is the card that isn't like a first pick, but with the cards that they've shown, pretty powerful. Oh, that's a blocker, which means we're we're not. Well, they could be. We could be dead. Yeah, we could be dead. They could just haste out another creature at us. Uh, yeah, I'll pay that. What we really needed was a like an artifact creature so we could just keep bouncing it and make mirror smith tokens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can't bounce the blood sworn, and they're gonna play around that. They know how to play around that. I'm glad that we got to see that how Innistrad plays because this is exactly what I expected out of Innistrad right here. Mm -hmm. I was expecting green white humans. They're not killing us. Nope. Oh, actually, they, they might have that plus two, plus two, like, vampire card. Oh, well, then we were dead anyways. Right. We already know what the blue splash was for. Mm, that's for a tapper and for welcome to the fold. Yep. Uh, wait a little bit. Yep. So we have, we have Wrath of God, right? Oh, yeah. We, we just draw that next turn, and then we're we fine. We draw Wrath of God, and... Ooh. Okay. All right, uh, we should have expected that one. That was that one's pretty. Oof! Crushing victory for mm. our opponent. Yeah, all right. Let's jump back on in. See if we can find something that's slightly lower on the power curve than A plus draft commons and uncommons, and like not Rakeshare not actually being an A plus draft common or uncommon, but you know. I think Rakeshare can be very powerful in the right deck. So it's a build around me in common. That's what we call that. Yes. But now, we, we, as we said at the beginning, Innistrad is what I believed to be the, the most powerful in the abstract, whereas mm -hmm. uh, Mirrodin is the one that has the highest power threshold. Like, like it, 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 it has a higher ceiling, is I guess what no, we're, Yeah, we, we're, we, we, we might... If we have time for two of these tonight, the other one will be way into the wee hours. Yeah, because... there's there's no way, because we're doing another thing in an hour and a half here. Not even an hour. An hour 15. Uh, so we... <laughs> Losing quickly doesn't exactly have the worst downside. Um... <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can play first. This is all right. Thought Courier makes this a lot better than it looks. This is keepable. Probably lead with the, we probably lead with a Thought Courier, even yeah. though my natural inclination is to lead with the Mirror Smith. You're playing white. I'm glad that they at least use M15 lands so we nobody can immediately tell what you're doing. Yeah, everybody's on the same lands. Why M15, though? Oh, the mirror. Ooh, the mirror. Yeah, let's thought career first so that I can... Man, this means we can actually sideboard. 
Yeah. Like, bring in artifact cards. Hmm. Green white, so they're probably not infect. They're playing well, Ickerwell Spring. Cool. That, that, that's not certain because like green is one of the yeah. main infect colors. Uh, do we want to get rid of uh, any of these cards? Well, I want to draw first. Um, Ra Razor Golem or Sky Eel School? Yeah. Let me play down. Either of our two drops want us to play that lean and scimitar. Yeah, I'm doing this for the because I missed my third land drop. Normally, I would not do this main phase, but. Mm hmm. Yeah, nobody's actually infect, like obviously, but. You could be though. Green has the higher likelihood to be playing a one-off infect creature. I'm gonna get rid of Razor Golem, I think. I don't yeah. I, like Sky Eel School. As the game goes on, is going to at least like be a four power flyer with the Scimitar. Uh -huh. like Razor Golem's the one that's most likely to get stuff. God, I really wanted the third land. Yeah, that's. Let's get Mirror Smith down. Yeah. Dengard was another option there, but like Mirror Smith. Can yeah, they, again, they, they, they yeah at least it gets us another. Oh. We just play Lean and Scimitar, make up one one. Okay, so they could be anything. Okay, Blinding Soul Eater, which is a decent tapper. Okay, now I don't have to main phase the damn courier. Yes, pay one. Do we equip to Mirror Smith and get in? Hell yeah. Everything's coming up mill Alright, crushing. Yeah, they have our edged oracle. I just went straight to combat there? What the hell? Yeah, the, the, yeah, they go Swamp Edged Oracle. That would be uh, pretty incredible. <sighs> that's a good flyer. The Serum Raker. Yeah, that's a good flyer. Um, let's... Do we... Thought courier looking for a land to crystal shard them. Yeah, I feel bad not couriering at the end of last turn, but like I don't actually want to pitch anything out of this is the problem, which is yeah. like that's uh, that was a mistake. I probably should have just been always be looting. Like what am I? What I guess am I we looking see. For? Yeah, always be looting. That was that was a that was me just hitting the button too quick. Oh jeez. That card rules, but also costs, like, ah, oh, God. I think that, that that answers our question for us of what to loot. I was looking for land there so he could crystal shard and be an asshole. Yeah, a crystal shard bounce serum raker. That would be really good. Whereas our plays are either leave of condescend, um... Bone Splitter, make a mer, equip Bone Splitter to mer attack. Kind of like that. Do I want Dengard? Like, do I care about Dengard? I don't think we need Dengard at like, the moment. Dengard's... Although Dengard is quite good with the Bone Splitter. Right. I have no idea if it's still bugged or not. Well, we're going to find out. I, I still want it with, like, the mer. Like, where we might just have an overrun yeah. possibility. Yeah, we might just pitch the Den Guard. Every artifact we have is a creature. It was a bad choice. Yeah. Yeah, hot at this pace. We're not casting anything. I I know. I'm I'm being quite slow on my uh, plays here. I think I think they uh, they were referring to our lands, but oh, yeah, that too. Um, we, we okay trading Mir Smith for Serum Raker? Yeah. I'd be completely fine with that. Because we're almost out of the time where I'd want to actually do triggers on it. Mm -hmm. And if they discard a card to Serum Raker, it's each player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, each. I discard the Den Guard, I think, then. Mm hmm. 
Oh, they're just taking six. Cool, that's good. I think we're the aggressive player here. Like, that's... Yeah, with the Bone Splitter, I'd agree. Okay, fifth. What does Aether Spellbomb do again? I always mix up the new and old Spellbombs. Just, just bounces. Okay, they can kill a token if they want to. Yep, and Oculus is a good blocker. It's generally the vivisection target. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. Yep, taking three in the air. It might be that I'm looting away Crystal Shard at this rate. Like, if I don't actually see any mana and they just keep making land drops, like, the card's useless, right? Like... Uh, yeah. And we don't have anything of our own to... Mm. That at least deals with the Serum Raker. Yeah. Yeah, it might, as awful as it might sound, it might just be Crystal Shard. Although now Crystal Shard is a Mer token. A 4 mana 1 1. Sweet. God, I feel awful on discarding that, but I, I think that's it. Um. Combat first. They tap our mirror smith. Yeah. yeah. Then mirrors can attack. If they want to trade mirror for Oculus, they can. Yep, and then like forced worship on that lean and then guard. That's fine. Well. Yeah, so let's play the Dungard. I'm actually going to... I don't know if I actually want to Forced Worship that. We could also just leave up Force Spike. <laughs> this. They might Aether Spellbomb bounce this, which would counter the Forced Worship, but then that's their entire turn next turn? Yeah. So... And if they want to... It's still one for wanting. It's just for one for wanting with Aether Spellbomb and annoying our opponent. That seems fine. Yeah. I'm happy with... Den Guard's going to be a pretty effective attacker here. Trinket Mage. Sure. What do you got for us? Another Spellbomb? Good card, by the way. Could also be land. Yeah, it could just be land. Three cards in hand. Tree of Tales. Yeah, you weren't kidding. Cut. They really do have... No, that's not it. Oracles. No. Yeah, Tree of Tales is the green one. Uh -huh. Maybe that. Maybe like that and Spellbomb are their only targets. Alright. What is our opponent's green? No idea. Okay, that's these. We're telling them which creature they should tap. Yeah. I think probably just passing with Condescend up. That's probably fair. And if they go to do anything, we can just bounce Forest Worship. Yeah. Like at this point, if they go to bounce, like, Serum Raker, I can also claim back Forest Worship, so that doesn't work. Mm hmm. Is it, like, ramp into something, or is it just that they only had one thing they could grab there? You need to tap a little lower than... No! Can't be counted anyway, so who cares? <laughs> Found the green. Uh, Found the green. Well, that's not counterable. I think they're playing a blue-white deck just splashing for their most powerful card. Yeah. That's unanswerable. We can't answer that. Alright, um... Hmm. We need to k get rid of Serum Raker somehow and draw a flyer and also a way to deal with Blinding Soul Eater. <laughs> it's a bit of a high uh <laughs> Yeah, we've got a lot we've got a lot we got a lot of we got a lot to do. Okay, I'm okay with getting a big creature. I'm gonna get rid of the condescend here. Yeah, it no longer does anything. Well we just Combat first. Sh 
sure. Um, yeah, we're gonna actually have to watch out for like if we can just win with Stir the Pride by like yeah. step bouncing this and then just going Stir the Pride, which is something we might be able to do. Thundering Tanadon's coming down. I am willing to pay some life for that, and we get a mirror. Especially if like Thrun attacks. Yeah. See, we might be, just be able to overrun them at some point. The problem is, like, with this spell bomb up, it's very hard. Uh huh. Because, like, you know, if I stir the pride and twine, like, this is, isn't it? Seven damage is zero. <laughs> so, we'll see. Uh, what do you got? Sure. More. That, that, that's mana. That's just for the green splash. That's just a rock for your green splash. Might as well be a mirror. Man, I wish we had mana to support our bad splash. Okay. I should have trusted in the looter. Um, how... What are they doing? You know, four instant speed here. Now, did they just think it was their main? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, once we got stuck looting on our main phase, it's kind of gotten us stuck on that anyways. It's like when you get stuck using a tapper on your own turn, like that sort of thing. Hmm. Once you do it once, it's hard to break off. Yeah, or our opponent has Edge Oracle. They got four cards in hand, too. At least they shouldn't be able to be aggressive at 10. Like. Pass. Oof. Oh my god. Anything? Alright. Well, we do want to hit 7, I guess. We also want anything at all. I don't want to hit 7 so I can, like, play in Jester, which is an answer to Serum Raker. Also, like in Twine Stir the Pride. How does Ingester interact with Thrun? Hexproof. Mm hmm. It interacts with Blinding Soul Eater, though. Yeah, or even Serum Raker. Which is to say that it doesn't. Oh, you actually do have something here. Okay, Flash Flyer. That's a five turn clock. They tried to. They, they, didn't, re they didn't have five last turn. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. Yeah. About the only thing that kills Thrun the last troll in the entire world is cr a crackling doom. <laughs> Heh. Yeah. Which often enough it does not. The thing with Thrun is you cannot kill Thrun. You cannot do it. The only way you can do it is to get four minus one minus one counters on them with infect creatures. More flyers, eh? Ooh. I like that. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Next turn is our go turn. We have to. Wait, is Stirred the Pride Entwine 7? Or are we just not going to care about the Entwine? Uh, we, I don't have the ability to. Yeah. So we just, uh, we make our porcelain legionnaire. We can even just cast it for, yeah, you know, we can cast it for three and save the life. Yeah. I got it for the life. <laughs> because we need the mirror smith activation. Uh, okay, mirror smith. Yeah, okay. Yeah, mirror smith is important. Yeah. 
Entwine doesn't matter because if we're winning, we're winning like on the attack. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yep. So they're EOT. We vapor snag something. Yeah, one of these. And this has to go, and then like this. A spire monitor or something goes. Yeah, spire monitor should attack. I hope they attack with spire monitor and Nurok prodigy. I assume so. Well, the thing is, like, I paid life there because life doesn't affect their clock. Yeah. You know, ten to eight is the same when I'm fighting five damage. Four cards in hand scares the hell out of me. You know, like they're yeah. going, they're they're just gonna cast a thousand things and stop us. Or maybe they won't. Alright. But we have to go this turn. Like you know, we don't have a chance if we wait. Would love them to tap out for something big, obviously. We're not gonna that's irrelevant. That's dumb. I guess it's a blocker. Snag that. Best case would have been them like playing a second trinket mage or something like that. Going truth on this. Do we move Bone Splitter? Why? Okay, I was just wondering. We attack. <laughs> We like, attack. Yeah. Now that you've said it, hold on. What are you? I was just thinking, like, to make one of the mirrors more like a more reasonable attacker, but we also the the, the plus one. It's it's worth the most on Dengard. Yeah, because I lose the vigilance and such on it. Like, yeah, the vigilance doesn't matter. The plus one plus one yeah. does though. Screw it. Everybody in. They have, they have to have, like, a counter spell for me. But. You definitely have a Aether Spell Bomb. Uh, moving over to Trample is irrelevant, because this card is, is getting uh, Doombladed. Mm -hmm. Like, this card will never deal damage. So we have three, four, five, six... Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If this does work, we win. Please don't have condescent. 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 If they do a yeah. double blue counter, they die. Huh? Because they wouldn't be able to spell bomb on, on those blocks. Huh? It, it, it resolved. Okay. Okay. There's one. I'm not gaining any. I'm not gaining life off of this. They're floating a mana? No! <laughs> uh. What the hell? Yeah, I, I, I gained zero life off of that. Okay, so it's just it's five game. mana plus two plus two instant speed. Okay. That... It won us the game. It That's did, good it enough. It won us the game. It, it was in there at five mana plus two plus two. <sighs> okay, what do we do? <sighs> Funnily enough... Some of our black cards are actually strong here. Because one of our black cards is one of the only ways in the game of magic to kill Thrun. Called the Spies. Yeah, it's called the Spies. <laughs> yeah. Or do we just... Yeah. We knew some it... of the five, but I, I was certain they had, like... Like, any number of the counter spells possible. Yeah. The black makes our deck worse. That is what I'm going to come out to say first. Uh -huh. Do we want to copy our opponent and be a sort of mediocre deck that splashes for an unreasonable card from Scars of Mirrodin? <laughs> Although ours isn't quite from Scars, but... Is, it, is Ketherix from Scars, or is it from, it's from, from uh, New Phyrexia? Oh, okay. So, yeah, so do we want to splash for a double-color card from Scars of Mirrodin that is bad for our deck? But unbeatable on its own. They have a tapper, so they can actually beat it. But whatever. <laughs> right, like, and we can't stop the tapper outside of, like, a rest or bouncing it. We might just run it back. 
And bring in Thoughtcast again. Yeah. Lean in Cemetery, you did work that game, but. Maybe Priests of Norn is worthless because all their guys are on the ground. Or on the, in the air. That's the only thing we have that can actually fight. Actually, Infect is how you fight Thrun, you know? Yeah, which. Priests of Norn does make it a 3 3. Let's just go. So, the way we beat Thrun is we put Bone Splitter on Priests of Norn, and then, then we trade. Yep. Well, it becomes a 1-1. One, one. Oh, right. Well, yeah, 3. Yeah, I thought it was... Uh... No, Priest of... Priest of uh, or is this Horn Turtle, yeah. yeah. I always I know Bone Splitter is plus 2, plus 0. Oh. My brain always puts it put one on top of it because I know the card's awesome. Oh, good <laughs> so, God. Like, I know. It's There's not no way. that. No um, way. I'm um, in. I'm in. Yeah, it's cool. Thought Courier solves all of our problems. Mm-hmm. Are we our blue white <laughs> mediocre? Yeah, I don't we think we have tried, a deck. We tried really hard to include black for uh, Skitherix, the Blighted Dragon. It did not work out. <laughs> yeah, I do not think that we have a gimmick, as it were. We have some flying creatures. We have a. Uh, stuff. Oh, it's that spell bomb again. Ooh. Ooh. Suddenly our clock becomes better. Yeah, my, that might just be my lead. Oh, and they are off colors. Yeah, I'm leading with Porcelain Legionnaire just to get in. Of course you lead with Porcelain Legionnaire. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it, it eats the... Okay, it eats the it white. Eats, it's the white mana, yeah. yeah. You cannot beat a 3-1. <laughs> you cannot beat a 3-1. You cannot do it. Let us attack. Alright, let's crush. We play Thought <coughs> Creep. We play the Den Guard. Play what line? Silver Mirror is also the choice. I'm gonna play Silver Mirror. Alright, do they have Thrun? Turn 4 Thrun beats me. Okay. You gonna use Vapor Snag that? Okay. Uh, Thought Career and Mersmith, I think, is the play here, and I'm going to attack with the others. Yeah. They have a somewhat aggressive line, so we are going to take it. My kingdom for a bone splitter. Yeah, that would heavily alter, like, the math on everything here. Or for us to draw mutagenic gross. Yeah. Well, Although now they have the spell bomb to, to back it up. Uh -huh. <laughs> that lets us attack with a uh, Mirror Smith and Phyrexian, but that for the Angel there, but that's not the greatest because it's just a flat up two for one with yeah. some damage on top of Mirror Smith. I'm just going to prep for, like, the, that to be a kill. Mm-hmm. Guess I... No, no, I wanted to play the land. I was thinking if that land was worth playing, but no, I want to attack with that silver mirror, so I definitely wanted the land to play there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's keep filtering away our land. That's Ooh. good. That's quite good. That's a that's a that's an unstoppable clock. Right, that, that that threatens them much more as they develop their board. So, the uh. argument is ninety five error magic. <laughs> 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 yeah, like force on legionnaire. Yeah, 
parcel in here, that, that 95 card. Oh, and tap. again, like, oh, cripes. Uh, sure, you can have tokens. That's fine. Uh huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sure, go for it. Yep. You should probably just hit always yes to that. Yeah, I know. Always yes, always heal. Um, ooh, you're attacking? Hold on. They're out of, they don't have blue mana? What's their blocks look like? How much damage do they take? They block Porcelain Legionnaire, Mersmith, Future Priest, and... So what, they have four blockers. One, two, three, four, five. We get in for three. They get in for six. Four blockers, six attackers. Oh, huh. right, we get in for six, um, and we kill all their guys. Yeah, you know, I was going to say, their team dies. And Seems fine. We'll always have Porcelain Legionnaire to stick around, so... Yeah. Let's... Hopefully Suture Priest lives. <laughs> the hope, but... It won't, but hopefully it does. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like Suture Priest and Thought Courier? That's Don't... horrible. Oh, man. We get to keep some creatures. Like, that's a really poor choice there, because I get to keep my 3-5. Super Priest dies, which sucks, but... Yeah. I get Suture to keep Priest... my Porcelain Legionnaire, too, so... I don't like take those... six? I don't like those blocks. Also, we get five creatures still, like... <laughs> yeah, that was very poor of our opponent. <laughs> yeah, I don't like those blocks. Uh, for one, this should not have been blocked. There's, there's yeah, no it should have been. It should have been either the Silver Mirror or the Thought Courier. Probably Thought Courier. Probably Thought Courier, because Thought Courier is, like, the... And they should have uh, stuck a 3-3 three, three on Mersmith. Mostly because I thought that was the most transparent trick in the world. Oh, it was completely transparent. Oh. Sure. Mm. You can't attack anymore, so... We draw... It... We win? We win. Yeah. They can bounce. They bounce Mer Smith, and then we attack for three. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> if we didn't have Letha there, I could also just bounce Porcelain Legionnaire and take it back. We won the game thanks to our poorest <laughs> decisions on our opponent and a two mana three one first strike. Thank you, two mana three one first strike. All right, let's do our final round. Four, we got forty five minutes, but that's easily enough time. Yeah. We won't eat those words. <laughs> Well, 50 minutes is the maximum length a round can go. Uh, yeah? Fif sorry, f 56. Like, yeah. the worst we can do is 10 minutes over, so we have enough yeah. time. Yeah! I don't know what you're yelling about, like, math. I'll math. make you eat those words. You're the real faker around here. <laughs> you're not even good enough to be my fake. Or maybe we wait forever. Ancient curse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad this deck at least functions. Thing is, that was a highly aberrant round for us, or game for us. Brad Pitt Keeper. What is this? Prestige? Prestige. What does that I've mean? seen Prestige is a good movie. Um this is not great. Keep it going anyway. We just keep draw if we draw enough planes, we can just Ooh. Oh. Carries are good kids. They're card advantage. <laughs> Ravnica. Mm, it's Beetle Four Mage. Beetle Four Mage. Just play a uh, Razor Golem out. There is absolutely no reason to attack. <laughs> but we do it anyways. We could have a damage. We don't though. 
<laughs> thing is, uh, Crystal Star is actually a good counter to Beetle Form Mage. Yeah, if they tap out and, like, Drake Wing Crisis. Do you not have a fourth land? They do. They do, but they don't. Yeah. Actually, they do and they do, because carries are very good. I know. If, if carries are very good, uh, we can we can crystal shard them to be a, a dinkus, though. Or do we want to just like play? Uh, no, I, I, that was me like using echoing. Yeah. Things. You try to, to <coughs> come on. Okay, what do we bounce? Uh, Krasis. Zoop. <laughs> Zoop. I love Crystal Shard. It's a bullshit card for bullshit. It's, it's very dumb. It's one of the most annoying cards ever printed. As a <laughs> yeah, this must mean Ajani is like a promoted unit. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, like. The give him the little mark and then they're a promoted unit. Well, he's got, you mean he's got a sigil of distinction? <laughs> yes. That's a joke card for us because we've, because you guys have streamed uh, a thing before. <laughs> I'm your basic mm, with, with, with a stone hue giant. Is I that wish, what it's called? I wish MTGO was less bad because I really like magic and watching this makes me want to play. I understand completely, as I am the person who streams this, and I would never recommend anybody play them. Oh, boy! Crystal Shard really dunks on, uh... on Graft. Yeah. Because if you can bounce the creatures that get grafted onto you, just destroy. Anyways, uh... Um, they are holding up Beetleform Mage Mana, but we are holding up <laughs> some, some bullshit secret you would never, ever see. Right. Also, if they if they beetle form mage, we uh, can uh, crystal shard them. We just have to move phases. There is no way they see this coming. <laughs> I talked about tricks that nobody will see coming. Mm-hmm. And then, uh huh, our creature pay life. <laughs> <laughs> And then we move on to uh, yeah. Sistant Main, and Aqua Strand Spider returns to our opponent's hand. Mm. We probably do it for three so we can hold up Echoing Truce. No, I want to play Priest of Norn here. I can play Priest of Norn. Okay. What madness is this? Minus one, minus one counters in the same realm as plus one, plus one counters? So our opponent's on three lands and is just working just fine because this is the power of Karus. Yeah, Karus are very good because they are they let you replay your lands. Mm -hmm. A two lander and one of your lands with a Karu is actually a three lander. And a, a three lander with two Karus, is, as you see here, five. <laughs> five. But, but we also saw a drawback. Like it was not without a drawback. Oh, yeah, because your your Karus tap they have to tap for two. They cannot tap for like, one. If they had, you know, Mountain Island Forest, that play wouldn't have worked. So They still have the Drake Wing Crisis. They could replay that. But if they if they play both the Drake Wing Crisis and the Grafty thing, like, we just bounce one. They can't do yeah, both. Yeah, they, they cannot possibly do both. Which is... Okay, Aqua Trans Spider, which uh, sucks against mm -hmm. Priest and Arn. Mm-hmm. Well, they could do both, but, like, unless they have, you know... All right, Drake Wing. Yeah, they do both. Sure. Okay. Do you graft? Yes. They do. Maybe that's just echoing truth. Hmm. Yeah, we can attack and see what they do. I'm, I'm thinking like echoing truth at attack. I don't know if that's too aggressive though. They're at seventeen. I would. We could try to get them in combat. Yeah, but like, we're not getting them. You know, like. This doesn't mean anything. A tree. It would just kill Aqua Strand. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah it doesn't mean... uh, well, no, they don't have to double block for toughness. Yeah, they don't. Time. They don't. Yeah, they don't. Um, jeez, what do we even do here then? I'm gonna send one of these counters to the void. Let's. Do we attack with Priest of Norn? We attack with everything here. Yeah. Start getting our. Infect in. 
We have Phyrexian and Jester plus Crystal Shard for the late game, so uh, that's yeah. good. We just have to get there. We need one more land. Preferably Let's... two. Well, we need two to be able to cast a master. Oh, right. I thought we were... The way when, when lands tap, I misread them sometimes. Because yeah. you're like... Okay. Do you graft? I might. Could be worth it. The problem is, like, with Crystal Shard on the table, it's very hard to, like... Yeah, they do. Alright. You can still attack with a uh, golem. Ooh. Guild gate. <laughs> yeah, it can just be annoying. Yep. Okay. The puzzle. I was hoping for an island there, but. No, we accept, like, this is the only single blue. Yeah. I was, I, I wanted to get Sky Eagle School down. Oh, uh, yeah, same. Do we, get, do we attack with Razor Golem? Nah, nah, I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna attack with Priest and Horn, because there's no way they. They just take the one, it doesn't matter. It's literally a. You know, literally free. Yeah. For both of us. <laughs> free real estate. Yep. They have six cards in hand. I don't like that. <laughs> well, there is a reason they have six cards in hand, but... Yeah. Alright, what's big today? Okay. You... Okay, just... They just big... cards. It's main phase, their thought flare. That's probably fair. Yeah. The, fl the thought... Fl the, th the thought fair. Isn't that like... It's Sift almost. Like um, Sift plus one. I haven't or streamed. Sift. I've been told to play. Um, I've been told to play the Elder Scrolls card game by multiple people. I I I know basically nothing about its quality. That's a, that's one that exists. I haven't played. They're five mm. color. Oh, I mean, I guess you can afford to be. And then Ravnica. Some regular Ravnica decks were just five color, you know? Yeah. Especially, like, sealed. Whatever, let's just keep taxing you. Nice. Okay. Oh, man. We have, like, we can do, we can, mm. I know. It's very good. The scry is also incredible for us. My announcer's thought fire seemed very average for a two-color five-mana draw spell. Um, the instant speed makes it a lot better. Obviously, our opponent sorcerying it isn't that great, but okay, that's fifth color. They found their swamp. I can counter this. They're going to pick up disembowel. Which, uh, um, do we want both of these? I actually want both of these. I think we want island first. Yeah. We actually want both. If we want it, we draw the planes and don't want it. We can just sky eel school it away. Yeah. Mm. So we get to ingest her. Nice. Good card. Start girl mage. Pretty beast. Probably want to eat that. Because we can eat everything, yeah. <clears throat> so... Do they have a spell? I think I'm going to eat the crisis first. Uh, just in case they have something. Take away the threat. Well, let me attack. Mm-hmm. Check with everybody. Yeah, no reason, real re no real reason to block. They just block it because they're taking the priest of Norn head. Yeah. 
Anyway, next turn we get to, you know, bounce it. You might even get to attack first. Yeah, like attack for, I probably will, just to see if they do blocking. And if they try to, like, make a land into a thing to block, then we can just Crystal Shard as an instant speed ability, like. Mm -hmm. This is really dumb. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Phyrexian and Jester's a strong card. This is the one time where shields are down, I guess, so... Yeah. But so I... if they have something, like they, uh... Sure. Gain two life, get a 3-3. Three, three. Or gain four life, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we're not even going to fool around with it. Yeah. They might wake up a land in response, in which case we don't attack. That's what I'm assuming is going to happen. Okay. They... <laughs> get, they, we, they realize they're in jail. Yeah. Okay. Well, their disembowels gone. Yeah. Also... Yeah, it, it's, it's really great. Um... Oh, it, it actually... I thought that was a chippy card. I don't know. There's, there's just something about the art on this I love. The face on the guy in the background, I think, makes it... Huh. There is only... one art card by artist Chingo McFlingers, which sounds like a fake name, and the art looks like a chippy art. So maybe Chippy just wanted to be credited by a funny name for once. <laughs> So regular old uh, thought cast in for mm -hmm. late in summer time. I thought about priests Norn out for like Anchorite maybe. That seems reasonable. A bad tapper, but our opponent's on slow land, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, it's not a it's a prevent damage thing, so. Oh, I thought it was the five mana three three tapper. I wish it was, if it was the five mana three three tapper, that'd be main. But instead, it's a four mana two three. Um. Uh... This is, uh, yeah. I'm in. Um, yeah. And then their four, five card deck has to mulligan aggressively. Uh -huh. Are they want to go down to five? No. They're thinking about it. No, they're, they're in scry. Ah. Because their deck is at 30. Yeah. It's funky because it doesn't tell you that, but. Sweet. So we can, like, silver meat. We can, like, Razor Golem on three in any other, any available mm. way. Okay, this looks familiar. Oh, mm. that's better. Yeah, we do that instead. Yeah. That's more aggressive. Suture Priest is really strong, by the way. This is not... So, one of the themes of New Phyrexia is that the color pie is, is like garbage and doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Man, man uh, going down to six with a Karu with a Scry is like better than having a seven. Right. Man, this looks familiar. <laughs> uh, I should always yes to that as well. Oh, right, this time we're probably arresting a beetle form mage. Yeah, that's much more likely. Yeah, I can beat a salt zeppelin. Yeah. Draw bounce spell? Yeah, okay. My career's good, though. Yeah. We could Silver Mirror Thought Courier this turn, but if we do a rest now, we get to attack. I'm going to trust an arrest. You are under arrest. These are both formats for the rest. Yeah. Oh, Robert Bliss. That's also fair. Ah. Uh, Robert Bliss and Chippy are sort of similar. Take some damage. Thought Courier is going to be nice and should hopefully... So Razor Golem's funny because it's uh, resistant to the uh, disembowel play. Alright, what's your follow-up? Looks like there are three color and then splashing the other two as well. So, Clue Stone. Hey, Robert Bliss is to, his art, uh, art style is very... We all know his pacifism is the best pacifism. Mm. 
Clue stone. Yeah, this was like three color main and then hey down guard. Um, we can stop. like get in. Yeah. Super Super Priest gets in. Let me up. Oh. Tricks. <laughs> this is what I get for getting in. It's not a card you highly read from people though. Ah, rip. Yeah, mistakes were made. Well, we played into our opponent's removal. It's not... Again, it's imp... this is a matchup where it's impossible to keep every <laughs> card in mind. Island and Clue Stone shouldn't mean anything. <laughs> our opponent is Ravnica. Is... Yes. Mm -hmm. Convoke? What are you convoking? Siege Worm? Sundering oh, Vitae! Yikes, okay. Yeah, that sucks. Also, pro blue. Whatever, I'll be able to block that with Dengard next turn. Yeah. Ugh, god, that's too much, like, evasion. We have no evasion in this deck, so... Yeah, I need to do this right now. Okay. That basically blocks Silkwin Scout. I'll have Condescend up next turn, so... Yep, so take five. We want... We need to find our, uh... Also, I'll have Condes I want Condescend up. Okay, they're Clue Stoning because they're out of gas. Good. Uh, clue Stone becomes a land. More gas. All right. Okay. Um. Yeah, we have a loader. We, yeah, you can hold the land. Or do we want to play land for co Power Condescend? No, we don't need to Power Condescend that much. So, three turn clock here, and we need to find something very soon to stop that. Hmm. For the next two damage, that would be dealt to target creature player. So. Yeah. Sure. That, that's that's dumb. That's whatever. Is, uh, the Drake? No. Blocks it on Hierarch? Oh god, no. Just gonna blast it with Silver Mirror. <laughs> Yeah, they only have three mana. So four is enough. Yep. Thundering Tana um, can't be here. Put on bottom. And we can... Forced Worship is something we want. Yep. And, then we, and then we draw it with uh, Thought Courier. Mm -hmm. Immediately. <laughs> That's good. It stems the bleeding. <sighs> okay. Nice. So. Sundering Vitae. That was definitely a sideboard card. Yeah. At least it's, a it, good, it's a good one. Yeah. At least it wasn't like the populate killer. Uh huh. Alright, so we actually are stable. Yeah, we first staple. <laughs> For now. We might, we might even have been in an advantage if we hadn't walked into Sky La uh, Skylasher. Yeah. Well, we'd be at, like... We'd be at 8, and they'd be at, like, 9. Yeah. Or even 8. It could be 8-8. Eight, eight. Sure, a 2-2. Okay. Trudge Beetle. I'm not going to loot on an empty hand. 
I don't actually want to play a card that just says mill one. No, it doesn't. The crystal shard also doesn't do anything here, but we can do it anyways. So empty hand, empty hand. This is all on the top deck. We have a we have a looter though, so. Um. Pretend we got something. Yeah. And loot it when we realize we actually don't. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. Um, I can kill this, but that's really dumb. Uh huh. I think we just yeah we look for something. Hmm. Maybe like chump with silver mirror and bounce silver mirror. That's completely reasonable. And then we block with we we blocked yeah. it on the, the away the damage from uh. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, so we need scout. You can even tap the silver mirror. Yeah, it doesn't cost us mana. <laughs> no. Nope. Cool. So we take nothing. <laughs> that was good. Decent. Does that change anything? Not really. Like, I don't want to kill this because of the scavenge. Yeah. Like, if I kill that, this get, this flyer gets too huge. Um, so we just replay Silvermere and play Bone Splitter. We have to leave Island up. Yeah. Um, I could Bone Splitter onto, like, Den Guard and then, like, start trying to pressure our opponent. Um... It could be reasonable. They can, um... We should do that when we have three up for Bouncing Forest Worship. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to attack, but I guess I'm just going to put a 4-4 four four in the way so that this isn't going to be, like, attacking anymore, is the hope. They'd probably attack with it anyways. So we don't want to attack, yeah, because I don't want to lose Forest Worship, so... uh -huh. Forest Worship on Drudge Beetle after... Getting a Soul Zeppelin to die to a Lingen Din Guard. Although, yeah, they might just not attack with uh, Drudge Beetle and hold it back to block uh, Lingen Din Guard. Yeah. Which means the card we're looking for is Skyhunter Skirmisher. They can regenerate uh, both of these as well, so. Alright, because of Sport Back Troll. Yes. Did you miss everything? Um. Yeah, Nick that Ron, you missed everything. Sorry. <laughs> Y y you did. Hmm. What in the hell is this? Disembowel? No. That's too much for disembowel. Ugh, I don't like six mana of our opponent. Morgue Burst. Uh... <laughs> They're returning a 2 1. <laughs> well, 2 1 flyer. Wait a second. Look at a uh, Pategia thing. Read it. It dies. Well, the hand. Oh, okay. Is, I thought it was. I, I, I realized that you, you would expect a six mana card to maybe put it into play. But yeah, like... okay. I was expecting that, but no. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. They can't play the... They can't play it, at least. Oh, and then they're just not going to attack with Silkwing, because we could have prevented it. Yeah. Let's loot. Looking for answers. Okay. Wow. Well, it does something. 
pay a mana. Cool. Yeah, we, 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 we port their island. Ooh, I want that in play. Oh, well, I guess I summoned it. <sighs> it. Blocks their flyer. Can start attacking soon. Yeah, do I want to drop shields and play this replica? I think we do that, we're forced to chump. Chump what? I get the Dredge Beetle. With our 4-4? Four, four? Sure enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't want, we don't want Dredge Beetle to die, though. Oh, well, we can just bounce right, whatever right. Yeah, Neurok Replica is say. <laughs> okay, also, no, Neurok Replica solves the Drudge Beetle problem. Right, that's the thing. Like, all Horned sudden... Turtle beats 3 3. There. <laughs> There's like a thousand reasons this is a good play. I can't believe, okay. we, took I can't believe we took two damage from a Morgue Burst, and also that this is in our opponent's deck. And that the card they picked up with it is a flying green creature. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. The more relevant part is going to be the two one ones just, like, trying to sidestep us. Uh, excuse me, I want to F6 through the turn. Yeah. No, we can't, uh... We, we can't Crystal Shard deport them, so there's no reason to. <laughs> Why do you do the two in, at you instead of Thought Courier? I just Look, at those, I just, look at those snakes! What the hell? What the fuck is that? What the, what the fuck? What the fuck? Um. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we might just be dead. No, 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 no. I'll pass. I want to loot on their end step because I want this. I might need to block with this. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're dead because of Narok Replica. Yeah, true enough. Like, it's very. Like, they have to. They need to break this stall, you know? If they attack with both their flyers, they don't, and we loot. Oh, thank oh you. We have three artifacts. Only four. Four, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Freaking Sky Eel School is here. A three three, everybody. More looting. Would you like to craft? Um. Yeah, we can just cast Porcelain Legionnaire. We don't have to pay blood for it. Yeah. Feeling safe. Now we just have to find a way to steal the game with Sky Hunter Skirmisher. Yeah. Man, if only there was a... Oh, God. <sighs> yeah. We couldn't... We could not have... Uh, we could have foreseen just never attacking with your Suture Priest... We could not have foreseen Skylasher you know. out of an opponent who has shown literally everything. Like, if we play around every single card that exists, we, we stop playing the game of Magic, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could abracadabra a fireball. There's nothing yeah. I can do about that. Like, Yeah, there are several fireball. Like, uh, what's the one from the girl one? Like, uh, Roar Clan. of the Clan? There's a number. There's or Demon Fire. There's uh. There's even Rakdos's return mm. if they're a lucky duck. Oh. Mm. Oh. And we, I I tapped out, so I. Get, we are dead. I get to die to this. Well, I don't. Yeah. If we had one blue up, we could have just countered that. Yeah. Yeah, but. Welp. Is it the second time of the night we've lost to a threaten? We're not dead to it, technically, but we are dead, like... Well, okay, how are we not dead to it? They attack with all their flyers. Yeah, and then I, bl I chump block my own flyer and then take two because these are only four damage. Because I can break right. damage. Right, true. And what happens if they put the, the uh, full cord press on top of that? We die. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, so that was... I tapped out and died. I tapped out and lost to a Threaten, yet again. <laughs> yeah, because like, I can do this, 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 but then I take one, two, three. So. God, that feels like I fucked up hard. Uh, okay, do we have... I don't know what I was, how I'm going to finish that sentence. Um, <laughs> do we have? No. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, I think uh, what, I don't think we have any changes to make, unless you want to add some cards and put in. Well, we do have. We could have Mer Turbine. Unless you want to put in two extra basics and etched oracle. No. I almost want to put in something like uh, Whisper Silk Cloak in this matchup, but... Yeah, that'd be reasonable. I'm getting sick of not being able to attack through. What do we take out? I don't know. Could just be... Nothing. <laughs> well, that's incorrect. I would like to play first. Things are going to go well. We're going to... That's the card I was looking for, was Porcelain Leech <laughs> Like, okay, we have Porcelain Legionnaire, and... Tricks, 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 tricks. We have tricks, and then once they finally are able to beat it, we just Whisper Silk Cloak it. Nick Thamaron, you do not know how painful it was to not be able to play that card. Oh, yeah, we, we sorted by rares, and... Uh... <laughs> Said, oh, we're playing Infect then. Let's force Infect. And then we have four mm -hmm. green cards and a bunch of mediocre black cards. Yeah. We did have it. We had the green Infect overrun, though. And we just wanted to do that. But we were unable to. Sure. Sure. We attack. We attacking. And then post combat play Thought Courier. Yep. <laughs> This is, this is what happens. When our dumb plan fails, we just play a turn to Porcelain Legionnaire. <laughs> really want to get that cloak down. Oh, certainly. Like, we had some good black cards, no. like uh, Chittering Rats, but not enough. We, like Chittering Rats, because that was the only other good black card we had. I, I like Despise well enough. It's okay. Um, but then we have, like, instill infection. Right. Nothing. Pass. Pass. It's gonna be, like, no, they're gonna play, like, they're, they're... Oh, sweet. Okay, they're gonna play mana. Okay. I don't, we, like a Dorcas, are gonna be stuck <laughs> looting in our main phase again. Hell no. Okay. Yeah. Because Sutra I can Priest. play Sutra Priest here, I'm attacking. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to vapor snag anything out of the way and, like, I, I just keep crushing. It doesn't matter. Does not matter. <sighs> oh, son of a bitch. Attack your clue stone. <laughs> Do it. Attack for two. They still think yeah. they're the aggressor? That is kind of scary, to be honest. Like, if they think they're the aggressor here. I, like, what did they actually have backing this up, you know? They can't play Pataga Viper and expect it to be any good, right? Like, <laughs> against Sutra Priest? Okay. Right, they have a they have a hollowed fountain. I forget about that. Okay. Let's attack. Just with Porcelain Legionnaire. Yeah, just with Porcelain. Although... No. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the last game? <laughs> well, we have, now we have Mutagenic Gross. So, and Vapor Snag. Which Vapor Snag can't deal with that card. Right. Anyway, Cloak. <laughs> a 
And now our opponent just has to play 10 creatures. Yeah, play 10 creatures and die. Are you drawing a card? No, you're... Sundering Sund Pyche? No, it's the, it's the card. Yeah, they, they had it. Uh, always yes. Always yield. Convoked. Yeah, there's the Sundering. Which we can't do anything about. Which we can't do anything about. Yeah. Yep. That sucks. We might beat Skylasher in combat, though, if it comes in. tricks are fake they haven't shown any tricks they have no room for tricks in their deck they're playing clue stones Ugh, gaining life that sucks um i mean the, the token's nothing but sure we loot away. What do we loot away here? Sky Eagle School, which is wrong. Okay, so okay, so we arrest their. I don't think we arrest. Like I can just bounce this, you know. Yeah, we like we bounce their token attack, and like Whisper Soul Cloak our Suture Priest. That sounds fun to me. All right, we need to find that blue. Yeah, we do. Although we, we may be forced to discard something. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we loot. Goodbye, Silver Mirror. I mean, we play it. Yeah. At the very least, uh, trades with a. Do we attack with Zod Courier? Yeah, I think so. Five cards in hand. Ugh. One of them is Forest. Cause they, I don't think they replayed the land they carried yet. Yeah. They boiled it just last turn. Just that many cards in hand. Ugh. Yeah. What the heck is this? Oh, wow. You are... You don't have anything. <laughs> okay. Maybe they're off black. No, they're not off black. They mm. can't be off anything. Um, if they have all five colors. Mm. I'm probably going to arrest Drudge Beetle and attack for four here. Certainly. Trans Guild Promenade. Weird discard. They must have a thing they're playing here. Oh, Signet. Okay. Mm. If we can get them low enough that they die to Suture Priest. Oh, Ooh. McGinnis. Um... We don't have enough. We have enough. We don't have enough mana to play it, to arrest and play it. So I think we just arrest this turn, or do we play it and forsake the Mer token? No. Because now, like, they only have four creatures before they die, and like, I can move the cloak on a mirror smith and put bone splitter on it and win. Yeah. Well, other way around, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. Shroud is weird, kids. Yeah, well, I, would I, lose, I, even, I would lose to that. <laughs> I even specifically said it in that way because I can't put the I can't put it on this, you know. <laughs> yeah, we definitely cannot. They can't like play Pataga Viper; they lose the game. They have to have. 
another copy of Sundering Vitae and then a removal spell. No, they're gonna go like debt to the death li- of of the deathless or some garbage off of their signet play. It's gonna be huge. Rack, rack, ghost de- rack ghost Council first. shows up. Come on, Ghost Council. Is Ghost Dad good enough? No. Well, we gain them some life. It would be pretty dang good. Okay. They're morgue bursting us. And they're getting Skylasher. Okay. They can't play Skylasher, though. Well, I think they they can now. No, they they can't. It's just a bear, right? No, they they you misunderstand. They oh. can't. Oh right, yeah, because they're they going to go to one. Can't. They cannot. They can, but they also can't. Ah, oh, <laughs> we're free. We made it to two one again. <laughs> Hey, we, we bucked the trend last time, so now we got to go back to 2-1. Yeah, we always do the 2-1s here. But yeah, so I, there was three unblockable damage, and then the, uh, if I go back to the uh, game, The Suture Priest. The Suture yeah. Priest, which is hitting for one. But they can't play their creature because the Suture Priest will make them lose one life. So... <laughs> Everything. You know what? Our, your sideboard idea won the game. Yeah. Because if we hadn't had Whisper's Silk Cloak, they could have just flashed in their guy to block the 3-1. Yeah, and we... it would have been just nothing. Yep. They would have been dead. So... Anyways, I gotta go start setting up. Yeah, you go setting up. Uh, thank you all for joining. Um, if you if you like the, the stream, uh, consider following the stream, because it's it's this is what it is. is us mm. playing Magic, and also like a bunch of other silly things that go on. Usually like... Metroids, like Final Fantasy, Metroid. Uh, what else? Uh, we're other, about... other worst card games. Yeah, we're gonna be starting uh, moving over to Gnome Stream. That's that's dumb bitten. Uh, no, for but... Left 4 Dead 2 here in like ten minutes. Yeah. So uh, I'll. I need, put that I need to me. choke down something to eat and then set up streaming. So. All right. <laughs> so thank you all for joining. Hope you all had fun with this. I I'm glad we got to show off um, four of the five. Or no, three of the five. We didn't get to show off a Zendikar or um, Dominaria. Yeah. So. Yeah, no one's playing those. So, anyway, uh, yeah. If you if you want to check out that, uh, join us in like 10-15 minutes. Anyway. Thanks for joining us. Not everybody. <laughs>